Hi Calculus, this is a Desmos tutorial that will show you how to create a tangent line so you can see, so you can visualize the slope by having a line tangent to your function at a specific point. So we left off with our derivative function um, and I think, you know, it's nice to kind of put, it's like putting a yardstick up against this specific point and then you can see, you can see the slope at that point. So I actually have a, a Desmos that does that, so this is what I'm talking about. So, you know, it's just nice to be able to move this point around and see what the slope looks like at that point. So at negative 1, 1, the slope of the tangent line is this, and the slope at that point of the x squared function is the slope of that tangent line. They're the same at that point. Um, and it's just nice to be able to visualize it. You know, you can see, like, as the as the x value gets closer and closer to zero, the slope of the function and the slope of the tangent line gets closer and closer to zero. And then as we move, as x gets greater and greater, the slope of that green line gets steeper and steeper because the slope of the red function is becoming steeper and steeper. And the same thing in the negative direction, the slope becomes steeper and steeper. The farther you get from x, it's just that the slope is negative. Okay, so uh, let's flip back to our other graph, and I'll show you how to build one of these kind of green lines, one of these tangent lines. So we've got that here is where we left off with our last graph. And let's just turn off the derivative for a second. And so we've got this slider at uh, x for x1. Let's add uh, a y1 value. So let's just add here. Let's just say y sub 1 is equal to f of x sub 1. Okay, that just will help Desmos out. Okay, so we can move the x around and that, that y1 is just changing. So now we want a, a, an equation of the tangent line. So uh, the equation of any line, we can use the point slope formula and it'll look like this. So we can say y minus y sub 1, which we just defined above, equals the slope times x minus x sub 1. And notice we have, you know, x sub 1 we're controlling with this slider. And then so whenever we change x sub 1, well, that's going to just plug that x value into our f function. It's just going to square that x, and it's going to spit out y1, which is just plug in the x and you'll get the y, plug the x into that function named f right here. Okay, so for the slope, I want to plug that x into the function named g of x. So that would give me, that would be plugging the x in here, which would give me the derivative at that point. So I can just change this notation instead of m for slope. Let's plug in, let's, let's use our slope function, which we just defined right here g is the derivative, and the derivative equals the slope, so g of x sub 1 is the slope. And now our line appears. And we were using green last time, so let's just be consistent and make it green. Click and hold that and make it green. Okay, so now I can move my point around on the red line, and I've got my tangent line. So it's a little tangent line slider. And, you know, just be super aware that this tangent line is not the same thing as the derivative. The slope of the tangent line is the derivative. Okay, so if we bring our derivative graph back, we can see, you know, at, they all kind of line up there. So it's maybe not the best point. Let's just go to, let's go to negative one. So at x equals negative 1, this green line shows you the slope of the tangent line visually, but the value of the slope of the tangent line is here, is the derivative. It's negative 2. Okay. So anyway, that is a slider that shows you the slope of the tangent line. 